Hello again, cats, kittens, germs, jeremiahs, and uh, everything in between there. It is me again, Jake Krillin Schmillen, your discarded producer. Uh, here we are with the very last beta build, the devlog for the very last beta build. Pretty crazy to think that we are almost done with this big capstone project. I mean that pretty much for every team, right? Um, but yeah, it is it is pretty incredible. Super proud of the team. Uh, a lot of great, you know, little upgrades. Really getting that polish in there this sprint and continuing on into next sprint. Here we are at the change log. Feel free to peruse that at your own uh, leisure. Um, one of the very first things you'll notice is that this big, great, beautiful team, every single department, has been working their tuchus off to make sure that the game's performance on lower-end computers uh, is good. Um, pretty much across the board it's 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 been real crazy to do optimization for a game because i feel like that's the first time most of us on the team have done it so it was a really nice experience big shout out to robert rude uh one of the new aie staff who's been helping us with that as well but let's go ahead and jump in got our classic you know who's that pokemon choice between the two options here go ahead and choose teddy bear head because that teddy bear head is just so cute and furious Go ahead and get rid of the tutorial here. Now, one of the very first things you should be able to notice is that we have a completely improved UI, improved uh, health bars here. We got rid of that top bar sort of transparency. We've got this mini map up here. We call it a mini map because it tracks the progress of which room you are on. We only have nine rooms, that big circle at the end being for the boss, and it will track as you go along. We've got some big cards here. This is the intense system, and as you can see, when we well we got the tutorial in the way but when you end your turn it shows you what cards the uh, opponent is actually playing so you can see some uh, you know combos of the builds that they are running right also yeah listen closely because we've got some really dope sound effects happening now. We've had sound effects the whole time, but we've really improved them. Big shout out to Tyler Baldwin, to uh, uh, Devin Gregory for that. And also, you know, check out this stuff right here. Like, we got the sparklies happen on the end turn button when you run out of mana. Again, that's Tyler Baldwin. And, uh, you know, just going back a minute, big shout out to Jay Pickett Garcia and Mariah Young and Juan Reyes Cisneros for all of the awesome uh, UI improvements. Also this like dope shield now with this little, you know, shading, it's a little 3D-ness there. Go ahead and continue knocking the crap out of this teddy bear here. See, there it is. I love that. So you can see what it is they were doing. We've got more improvements planned for that, but just the fact that you can now read and understand what it is that the enemy is doing goes a long way towards choosing tactics and understanding the tactics in our game. Now let's go ahead and choose one here. Oh, small improvement, just a little detail. We've always had this L and R on the arms, and now we've put it, yes, we've put it up here on the mannequin so that you know which side it's going to go to, so that later on when you've got a tape piece attached to your arm, you know to not choose that one and override it. But let's go ahead and choose. We went in for the teddy bear head. Why, why, why not go for the teddy bear head, of course? Let's jump on in there. Uh, fish legs. You know I'm a big fan of the fish legs. <laughs> go on in here. We've got some nice intros and outros planned as well. Coming in the polished sprint. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But for now, go ahead and admire the beautiful sound effects, the beautiful animations that Melanie has created, Melanie Templin, and appreciate that wonderful UI animation happening straight from J. Pickett Garcia's brain. Go ahead and gain one battery so we can play all of them. Just kidding, I'm just gonna beat them up too quickly. That's, that's how it goes. Go ahead and grab those fish legs here. Yes, 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 love all those cards, excellent. Now here's one of our, uh, you know, much improved events. We've got this nice picture in the background of some of our 3D uh, environment art. Again, uh, Juan Reyes Cisneros and, and Cody Sam have absolutely been slaying the environment art. And they've been doing an excellent job sort of scaling down the textures with Boas Havran on um, making sure that it's, again, the processing on lower end computers is 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 happening that's what we we got a lot of feedback that uh <laughs> the game was chugging on some computers and so it was our goal to make sure those computers could play it but here we are the great furnace the great furnace roars with power a minion of the manic king their parts decrepit and fragile struggles to haul the head of a teddy bear into the fire do we help them 
bring that teddy bear head into the furnace or do we refuse to help you know take the the lonely but altruistic route and we've got these nice uh sticker icons here again that's mariah young got some tool tips on here awesome job awesome job edward you have made this happen that's edward nichols making the tool tips on the events happen to show you what those stickers will do later on so let's go ahead and be you know align with the manic king here and uh, and place that sticker on us some more tutorials for you some more sparkles of course courtesy of tyler baldwin we'll go ahead and place that sucker on our uh, yeah, on our fish legs here. So now our fish legs will all add potential when we play them. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And yeah, here you go. The text down there at the bottom. And it also, the tooltip shows uh, what card rip currency. This card will gain five block and add one rip current to our deck. And up here on the tooltip, it tells you what rip current does. Go ahead and play that first. Get those in our deck. And then just start beating the crap out of this one further. I think we're going to skip ahead from here. And there we go. I have lost. I was hoping to bring us all the way to the boss, but you will have to do that all on your own. Again, this is Jake. Thank you so much, so much, so much for watching, for downloading, and for giving us feedback. As always, super excited to see what comes next. And thank you so much, Terry, for hosting this lovely devlog. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.